Sundarin Wasanda Hero, and I'm a, PhD, a third year PhD student in UL. And I came across the course, and my supervisor had uh, sent me the link because she knew I was really interested in social issues and like wanted me to be around like-minded people, but then also kind of understand the different intersectionalities of global issues of just like not concentrating on one thing and just being hyper aware of all the different um, issues that's going around. So I saw the call for notice and then I just signed up and then I was lucky to be selected then. With it, it was uh, we were doing it in the evening time, so it really suited my um, work hours just with work in college. So I was able to just like you know like just go in and like kind of shut off from the rest of the world because I wasn't cause I wasn't doing other things and. It was the people in it like they were very like minded people we did a lot of breakout rooms and in that like no answer was ever stupid or like anything like that and we were all from like different walks of life so you know like some um I, I don't know if I was the only PhD student there but some were already graduated some were only in first year but like there wasn't like a hierarchy of power there like everyone had their own reason into why they were there and what they were taking part in so that really uh, made it there and uh, made it possible because like as I said I really wanted to like meet like-minded people who are also passionate about these issues so like I would have been passionate about like climate change and um, social issues on racism and other people were interested in different as perspective but we were still able to kind of have like a common ground with that. I remember what we were doing with climate change or um, even one of the modules in regards to trade and it was that perspective of the intersectionality element of it and kind of looking at it from like the global north and the global south because I think it's a very um, I don't know, I think everyone's kind of guilty just only looking at it from your own perspective or if we're talking about climate change, we're only looking at it from a Western perspective as opposed to taking on an African perspective but then also challenging those um, those kind of barriers that are in place and being aware of barriers that are in place between global south and global north so I think that was like one of the biggest lessons because um, I think as I say I think it's very easy to just kind of be in your own mind and be like oh well these are the social issues that affect me because I can see them but then what about um, other people so kind of being aware of like that domino effect that social issues have like on a global scale and I think that's one thing that all of the speakers that we had and all the weeks we were doing that kept being um, reiterated and repeat it over and over again so like by the time we left I've always kind of like really took that being like okay if I'm only going to be talking let's say even when it comes to racism from a black perspective but what about from a travel perspective or an Asian perspective so really understanding that in order to understand kind of like the bigger picture of it. With the course, definitely when it came to climate change it, it, it influenced my research because uh, my PhD research looks at issue of climate change and the concept of future but from an African perspective so the fact that we had like an African speaker talking to us about climate change like that was really impactful because like that was kind of the first setting I'd been around talking to other Africanists on the issue of climate change so that really like was an eye opener and like she the facilitator was great because like you no know, she she kept asking us to think about um these questions of climate change and again even if you can't see it it's like what about it from um, different perspectives so that definitely helped in regards to research and I think the overall process of kind of understanding the different inequalities in Ireland and how like no change is too small you know like even um so that definitely helped when um, it came to the establishment of unapologetic because that looks at inequalities but from different minority groups so I think before if I would have done it I would have just looked at it from a black perspective but by taking the course I was able to bring on different people who were coming on from their own minority backgrounds so then to kind of have like a whole rounded perspective and that's something that um, definitely the global perspective like definitely um, helped and like the course shape that like in regards to like it is possible to make changes but again it just kind of identifying key members in your own community which are already doing that and collaborating with them so that's why I would have taken away both academic and creative. I understood like different social issues and I understood what I was passionate about and I was like with what I'm passionate about sometimes I can become very clouded where it's like okay this is what I only want to talk about this but then 
by taking this course and just being around like-minded people, you just get to understand the different ways that like climate change and racial issues, they all interact, like different forms of inequality all interact. And you wouldn't really know that unless you're speaking to different people. And I think sometimes it becomes very overwhelming when it comes to like different social issues or anything like that, like sustainability, because it's like, oh, what can I do? But I think like, as I say, like the fact that there were people which were already working in the field or journalists, everything like that, that you just bounce off ideas from each other and as I said like when you go in like you don't feel like small or anything like that because the fact that we they do at breakout rooms and every week you're learning something different I think that does really make you that like, even if you were going in with one passionate issue or one like understanding of a social issue that you'd want to take part in or like learn more about like you are going to come out like with a more well-rounded idea of the different social issues and then also like just a new perspective on like the different as I, I just keep referring back to intersectionality because that's how that's like that's what I found um, great about it it's you're learning from different people and different perspectives and you just get to meet like-minded people and hear their voices hear their own experiences and then you can kind of see if there's that common ground and as I say the fact that it is evening times it does suit your like time like um, with your timetable work timetable so it isn't something that like it's an added pressure or anything like that I actually found it very relaxing just being able to like switch off and just um, attend the classes.